should you get the iPhone 6s in 2020? Hey guys, this is Miles Tech. I'm going to be talking about should you get the iPhone 6s in 2020. So the iPhone 6 came out in, 20, in September of 2015. Um, it was about 450 bucks after 600 or something. I don't know the actual price, but um, so it's almost five years old. Um, it's still getting iOS 13, which is actually pretty sweet. You can go on Amazon and get this for about a hundred bucks for a 16 gig. Um, this is a 32 gig um, variant of the 6S. Um, I wouldn't go anything lower than at least a 32. 64 would be even better. So I'm going to talk about why I think you should get it and why you shouldn't. So first off, the form factor is pretty nice. It's kind of small. Um, has this nice feel in the hands. I feel like I don't need a case because I feel like I'm not going to drop this ever. But I do have a case right here. Um, yeah. So I like how it's aluminum and whatever. I forget what stainless steel, whatever. It's the aluminum build. Um, they had gold. I'm going to talk about the colors. They had gold, rose gold, silver, and space gray. Um, I got the rose gold here. It's a pretty nice color. Uh, if you have a rose gold, it has a white front. If you have gold, it has a white front. And if you have the ones, you have a back front. Um, so the picture qualities, uh, I'll actually take a quick photo real quick and show you guys what it looks like. So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, photos aren't the best on this phone anymore for 2020, but it does have live photos. Um, yeah, one thing, one, here's one reason why I think it's a good phone if you're on a budget and you're looking for like a cheap iPhone to use. Um, I wouldn't use it as a daily driver personally. I feel like it's too outdated and the battery life isn't great. But I feel like if you can, I would use, the only reason I would use it, I guess, is if um, you can get one with good battery percentage health. This one's at 79. I'm actually going to replace it. That's one thing that's good. You can replace the battery for under 20 bucks and you have a solid smartphone. A kit that runs the latest iOS 13. Um, I'm actually making a video of what devices are going to support iOS 14, but I'm thinking this will probably get iOS 14 and then after that iOS 15 will drop support for this phone. Um, yeah, it's just a great overall build. Uh, it has Touch ID, of course, which is blazing fast. Um, it's also jailbreakable for life with a boot ROM exploit, so this is jailbroken right now. So that's one cool thing. But yeah, I think if you can replace a battery, um, get one probably on eBay for like 10 bucks for a battery, replace it yourself or have someone else, you know, do it. Um, it'd be a good value for how fast it is for iOS 13 still. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't get one if you have an old battery because the old battery's not going to last long. This was at 100 like five minutes ago and it's already at 70%. So battery's kind of crappy. Um, other than that, everything's pretty good. It still runs iOS pretty smoothly. It still has the classic 3D touch. I have using a sunflower tweak right now so I can get that peak and pop thing still. But other than that, yeah, it's a great phone. Um, would I use it as a daily driver for 2020? No, but if you're really on a budget and you really need an iPhone, then yeah, go for it. You guys can go for it. Um, personally, I wouldn't use it as a daily driver. I'm actually gonna put my SIM card in this for a week and see if I can go a week with using the 6S. Um, it's gonna suck, but I'm gonna try it once I get the new battery in it. Um, I'll make a video on my progress. I'll update you guys like every day with like a vlog video. I'll do like live streams on YouTube to figure out how how I'm doing with the iPhone 6S and with my SIM card in it. It's going to be pretty interesting to see how, go, how I can go with the 6S. So, also, guys, this video is sponsored by Red Bull. Just kidding. I wish it was sponsored by Red Bull. But yeah, uh, I'll put a link into the description where you guys can pick up one of these 6S's for like 80, 100, 80 to 100 bucks from eBay or Amazon. So, yeah, go get yourself a 6S. Um, they're pretty cheap for a 64 gig. I bet you can get a 64 gig for under 150. So, yeah. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Uh, also, subscribe. Also, let me know if you have a 6S, my 6S gang, where you guys at. Um, yeah, I'm also going to do an iPhone, a part two to this video where I do some reviews and speed tests versus my ex iPhone XI once my camera comes. I'm getting a camera for recording videos. So, if you guys like what you see, um, hit that like button. Also, comment down below what else, if other videos, ideas you want to see on the channel. And also, Go get yourself some Red Bull, not sponsored. So, yeah, drink Red Bull gives you wings. So, yeah. But anyways, it's been Miles Tech. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Right.